Right, time to move on. Uh, we've had the ECB, we've had the Bank of England this morning. Now I want to focus back on uh, the US dollar. Uh, we've had some volatility, uh, especially over these figures, um, and we're now starting to push lower in the US uh, dollar. Let's have a look at uh, that single currency first, and then let's reflect that back into the majors. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to build strength from a single currency relate that to a cross currency and then obviously get our trade set up so here uh, we've got the dollar basket this is not dxy okay it's an overlay of different currency pairs that are unweighted D dxy is a weighted basket this is a non-weighted basket i'm not going to go into uh, too much detail about that at the moment uh, google it if you need to uh, get more info so here i've got two uh, support levels so i'm expecting I'm not expecting, I'm not trading this move to the downside, okay? What I want to do is when I see this move to the downside, if I get this move to the downside, then I want to be buying dollars down here, okay? So when we reflect that back onto the FX majors, uh, then it obviously means that we want to be selling euro dollar, uh, we want to be selling sterling dollar. So we want to be looking, and like we said in this morning's video post, we want to be looking for completed patterns. We don't really want to be looking for patterns uh, that are half complete. Don't mind trading the last leg because uh, at least that gives us quite decent risk reward. Uh, but a completed pattern is far better uh, or um, a wedge formation. So basically, dollar looks like it's going to push lower. This is a bearish outside candle. What normally happens when we see those is a continuation of a trend. So we've got these two levels, 177.21. 176.30, uh, both uh, just under uh, the 61.8% Fib level. So let's go to the baskets, okay? And what I've got here, these dotted lines are also bespoke support and resistance. So normally I'd look for confluence and I'd look and say, well, can I get any SIM patterns from here? But that dollar basket is quite a long way off uh, support. So I believe we've got uh, further uh, to move so i've actually got a sim pattern down here which is at 95.41 i don't think this is going to be a trend reversal i think it's probably uh, just going to be a correction but a decent correction uh, to the upside so i'll be looking for that sort of pattern there so let's go to the other fx majors because we really want to be looking at completed patterns uh, not uh, patterns that are emerging we've got some resistance here and remember that it's essential that this boost here, I'm just looking at Euro Sterling uh, from this morning, uh, really rallying now to the upside. This boost here is from uh, the European Central Bank. That's a, that's a Euro move in the Euro dollar, not a dollar move. Um, I've got some resistance here at 113.81, but I think it's going to reach that um, before... Uh, the dollar gets down to its support. So I won't be taking uh, a resistance level here. Um, we could see uh, even stronger moves to the upside in Euro against the US dollar. Let's have a look at the other uh, currencies. So you can see uh, this minus correlation with, with regards to Euro and Sterling. So Sterling starting to move lower, Euro against the dollar starting to move higher, which obviously means that Euro Sterling's moving higher. Let's have a quick look at that actually, because this was what we were talking about in this morning's video. And there was the pattern and there's the breakout. So a real nice uh, rejection, um, impulse drive to the upside. Um, and if you look to this chart here, this is a weekly chart, that could be a double bottom formation. Don't think it is, but a swing low here. It's uh, it's looking very nice. And considering uh, that this is only one day's price action, okay, in the week. In other words, all the rest of the week, the, the euro sterling has been moving lower. We could get a bullish engulfing here uh, off uh, off the weekly chart, which is pretty positive for sentiment. Digressing completely, let's go back uh, to the dollar denominated pairs so dollar swiss again moving to the downside um i haven't got a completed pattern uh if it holds it holds but it's not really uh on the watch list remember we mentioned this level this morning said if you're still long in uh dollar yen then a really good level is going to be 114.98 what was the high 114.97.40 so again it's 
not a million miles off. That's why I like cipher patterns. Uh, dollar CAD. Now this could be the one because um, Sterling CAD is starting to move to the downside, so we're getting some CAD um, strength. Um, but I do I think we're going to get a bit of CAD weakness before it then reemerges. So this could be a double whammy if we get uh, the US dollar at support at the same time as uh, Canadian uh, dollar at resistance. So buying uh, dollar, uh, selling uh, the Canadian dollar is looking nice. So um, you might say, well, how come that's not up there? Um, the BC legs of uh, these formations can either go to 38.2% of this decline or 88.6%. So that's about 38.2%. So you can see here, this is the blue line. So it's only just over the top. So it will make a perfect pattern when it gets to 126.09. Uh, New Zealand dollar. And again, keeping an eye on that dollar, it's, it's all about the, the US dollar, these charts at the moment. They're not about, they're really not really about their counterparts. So if the US dollar hits um, that support level, uh, when New Zealand dollar hits this resistance level, uh, then it's going to be worth a look in. Uh, Aussie against the uh, US dollar, got nothing, basically. Um, this was a resistance level. I mean, if Aussie pushes lower, at the same time that, that the dollar pushes lower, this might stagnate, and then that's looking like a potential pattern. Uh, which would be a bat formation. But why would you trade a pattern that's forming when you can already, you can probably trade a pattern going back to dollar CAD and going back to this Audi chart? We'd have a pattern that's formed. All right, guys, good luck. See you soon. Bye.